Hey guys, it's the Penny Pinching Prepper here. And uh, if you do me a favor and go down there and hit that thumbs up, it would be greatly appreciated. And uh, well, if you like it, give me, or don't like it, give me a thumbs down. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about what we're gonna talk about today, um, leave it in the comment section below or reach out to me at pennypinchingprepper77 at gmail. Uh, anything other than that? No, I don't think so. So today's segment is going to be on basically bugging out and the best way to pick your routes out of town. Um, and once you're out of town, the best way to navigate through. Um, so uh, one of the big topics um, I'm going to talk about today actually is roundabouts. And I know that sounds funny, roundabouts, right? But it's something that's commonly overlooked and not talked about. Um, so I guess I'll start right there with roundabouts. Guys, when you are uh, choosing your paths, right? You know how they say as a prepper you should have a destination to get to maybe more than one and have at least one path chosen out if not several paths chosen on how to get to those spots so no matter what happens you have a safe way to your locations right <clears throat> so roundabouts in world war ii were found very useful for throwing up checkpoints. Um, it allowed you to have a flow of traffic, but yet be able to put a guard box, a guard house, a few guns, whatever you needed, right smack there in the middle of the road and be able to, with a uh, minimal amount of manpower, be able to control uh, four different ways in and out from that area. <clears throat> uh, so when you are picking your paths out, you should really be taking this into consideration that here in America, there is that opportunity to do the same thing here. And in fact, I would be so bold to say will happen here. Um, I've noticed more and more of these roundabouts going up uh, all over the place and in strange places like I live in a town of 2,500 people and inside of my town I have two of them and, and now I, I tell you that my town the main strip is less than a mile long and most of that mile long only half of it is actually the main strip. Uh, where all the stores and everything are at. Um, but yet, I have two here in town. Um, recently, in the last five years, on the highway that leads through town, actually splits it in, in half. You have the, uh, the town area where, you know, uh, all the stores and everything is. You have a highway, and on the other half of a highway you have the more rural area where it's uh, farmland for things like um, uh, hay and sunflowers and, and stuff like that. Um, actually, it surrounds this whole area, but the point I'm getting at is in the last five years, they actually put up two roundabouts and there's only two miles um, from when town starts to when town completely ends. And I, I'm not talking about just, you know, the in town where all the stores are, but the whole length of, of the town, um, where even the houses and, and stuff like that are out, you know, counting that area. And we have two of them on a highway, 60 miles an hour. Recently, in the last two weeks, they started putting another roundabout even further outside of town. And when I say further outside of town, the, the, the closest town to me is about 15 miles. So I, I'm a little ways out. I mean, I'm 
in the rural area. Um, so another 15 miles out, you know, now you're, you're, you're talking about really outside of the city. Um, and it's not a very big town either. And they're putting a huge roundabout there. Um, but these are all areas that made absolutely no sense, especially being on a 60 mile an hour highway. Uh, now, you might think, oh, it's to prevent accidents from crossing the highway. Well, in my town, we have four sections or four roads that cross the highway. And out of those four roads, they, kept, they picked the two least dangerous that it was to cross. In fact, the one that's the most dangerous to cross, in fact, there's a minimum of three accidents there a year. Um, they didn't even put a slow down sign for. So make that make sense. So these roundabouts are something to be a little leery of when planning your path of, of getting out of town, getting out of your area, whatever. Try to avoid these roundabouts. Now, I'm, I know I sound like a conspiracy theory, but since it's been done in the past, and the way America is really starting to build these roundabouts everywhere, when I put two and two together, it, it's hard not to believe that they could be planning to do the same thing right here in America. Now, the other thing I want to talk about are uh, maps. Um, grabbed one of my maps now I keep all my maps vacuum sealed I know how to use a map so I don't need to to train on the map um, but what's important about the map is the type of map you get now some people will say oh get elevation maps well yeah elevation is important and, and that should be a part of the map um, a lot of people end up getting road maps. Now, road maps are useful. They allow you to, you know, travel through roads. It gives you a few streams, lakes, things like that. But what I really highly recommend are these right here. They're, they're topographical um, uh, recreational maps. And these are going to have... Um, your elevations, your lakes, your streams, but more important than that, they're, they're going to have, they're going to have trail markings. All right. And that's all the major and some of the minor hiking trails that get you through, uh, through your country or not your country, your state, um, and this, this is the full state. It has every major and minor, well, not every minor, but some minors, trail out there. So I can find my way through the, the, the state without being on a road if need be. If they are doing checkpoints, if you don't have gas, you don't necessarily want to be walking a road. Um... Now, this map has everything else you need to, you know, be able to properly use your compass as far as, you know, inches versus miles and, and all that kind of stuff, your elevations and, um, and, and much more. So, I don't recommend um, traveling with any other map uh, for shit. There, I did it again. Forgive me, guys, but... The S, uh, SH, you know, hit the fan thing. Uh, so I just wanted to bring those, those two commonly missed and overlooked views of bugging out or having a proper way to um, get from point A to point B to point C or however you have it made up. Um, if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. I gave the spill in the beginning. Uh, 
I, I look forward to anybody who might think that there's other views to add to this. Uh, please um, chime in. Uh, any help for me and others is, is greatly appreciated here on this channel. So um, I'm going to cut this one semi-short. We're at 10 minutes. But remember, God's good and God bless.